Welcome to this ABG 2011 video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to upgrade your current ABG to ABG 2011. As you can see, ABG version 9 is already installed on the PC. We're going to upgrade it to the new ABG 2011 version. We'll do a manual reinstallation using a previously downloaded ABG 2011 installation package. This way, the configuration and all relevant settings from version 9 will be preserved and moved to the new version. We've already downloaded the ABG 2011 installation package to our desktop. There's another video tutorial guiding you through the process of downloading the proper installation file, so if you need help downloading it, you should start with that video tutorial. And just as a note, you can use the same procedure for upgrading AVG versions 8.0 and 8.5 to the latest AVG 2011 version. The first step is to run the installation file. It'll have the AVG logo as the icon, and we'll start with AVG. Once we've launched the file, it'll extract the files to a temporary folder and automatically check whether our system's compatible and whether we've got any conflicting applications installed. If there are any problems, we'd see a dialog, but everything is fine, so we get to the welcome dialog. Here we've got the chance to choose what language we want in the drop-down menu, and we'll go ahead and keep English. We've also got the terms and conditions. Be sure to read through them, and if you agree to them, click Accept. Your current AVG license number is automatically detected and entered into the license number field. There's no need to change anything here, just click Next. In this dialog, we have the option to do a quick install or a custom install. A custom install lets you choose which components to install and change more options, and quick install will give you the default set of components and parameters for installation. On supported operating systems like Windows 7 and Vista, we can also install the AVG gadget, which gives you quick access to key functions of AVG. In this example, we'll keep the default quick install option and then continue. After the installation procedure of AVG 2011 starts, it detects the presence of the previous version. The older version is now being uninstalled. Normally this could take a few minutes, but in our example, we'll speed up the process. To finalize the uninstallation of AVG9, we need to restart the computer. Again, we'll speed up the process. After the computer is restarted, the installation of AVG2011 automatically continues. During the installation, you'll notice that the new AVG2011 icon and sidebar gadget appear on the screen. To finalize the installation, we need to restart the computer once again. Now, the AVG sidebar gadget on the right side of the screen informs you that the system is protected. We'll double-click the icon on the desktop to open the full AVG user interface. Here, you can see all of the installed components. If there was a problem with any of them, it would be displayed here, but the green check indicates that everything is okay. Because everything's installed and working properly, we can get rid of the installation file. Right-click it, select Delete, and then confirm the deletion. And that's everything! Congratulations! Your AVG 2011 is now installed and keeping you protected. You can visit our web pages, download installation files and documentation, check our FAQs, or contact our 24-7 technical support anytime. Thank you for protecting your computer with AVG.